in today's video, we're going to go over the easiest, simplest, but most overpowered offense in Madden 22. Drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. Let's go. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just wanna become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. In this mini scheme, New England Patriots offense, I'm gonna break down how to dominate when an opponent is blitzing you heavy. But we're gonna start the video off Hitting our opponent in the mouth because I know y'all dropped the like on the video. So now that we made him fumble, we have the ball. He's running the 6-1 defense. So a lot of people are going to be running 3-3-5 wide, 6-1, trying to put a lot of pressure on you, try to make you make bad reads or look down the field and get sacked by sending seven people at you. That's when you're going to run four verticals out of the gun bunch. The New England Patriots has the best gun bunch because you're gonna be able to pick up pressure. Also, there's a second formation that's gonna dominate man coverage, which is becoming more of the meta lately. And also, I like to motion the guy over to check his defensive shell. He follows me, that lets me know it's man coverage. Now, when you are facing the 6-1 defense, you can motion block. A lot of y'all don't know that. You can send the guy across the formation and then you can bring him back and usually they won't let you hike it, but you can bring him back, hike it. Now you got an extra blocker and you can see that's the only way they're gonna set up the pressure is by having six people screaming off the end and the user has to stay in the middle. So you want your route combo to be kind of spread out as you can see right here i see that he don't follow me across the formation so i flip the play all his pre-adjustments are now screwed up we're going to have the running back coming out the backfield the opposite way so the user wants to come down touch the center he does get the super fast blitz but you can see we got a lot of green and we turned that into about a 30 yard gain a quick dump off to the running back turns into a 30 yard game now right here in the red zone you just want to catch your opponent super aggressive whenever you are around the four yard line or closer you want to come with some rpos and some run plays to stop the run glitch okay they have the run commit glitch the rpos is the best way to be able to dominate when you are facing that now here we go once again gun bunch new england patriots offense it's an easy setup i either like to have the running back come out in his stock route which is coming out the backfield and going to the side of the trips or i like to put my running back in an out route to the other side just to confuse my opponent i like to block my tight end a lot this time we have that crossing route i'm gonna motion out a slant the user has the pick between the running back underneath that crossing route that is unguardable by any kind of zone drops and the backside slant. This is what you want to do when somebody is aggressive over and over and over. This is how a lot of people play defense. They just want to sit back, send six, send seven, not need too much skill and sit back and just hope that you either throw a pick or sit in the pocket and get sacked. This is going to help you out tremendously. If you enjoy these breakdowns, 25 likes, and I will turn it into a full scheme with two formations. As you can see, the user is underneath my route. He has short and elite, and I'm just taunting my opponent. Blitzes don't work against somebody who knows what they're doing. Let's get it. Style on them. 